Hey Keith, check it out. Here is my uh, solar tracker mock-up. Um, I have a small DC motor here. Um, I opted to use two photocells because one wasn't, or using three just was not as accurate as using two. Um, these are 10K uh, photoresistors um, with a voltage divider with two, I mean a 10,000 ohm resistor. And that's what they each wire to. And one of them I trimmed up and fixed with uh, to make them uh, almost give off the exact same um, voltage with a small 1K um, potentiometer in line with the uh, photo cell, photo resistor. Um, my Hall effect sensors are here. Just because it's kind of hard to show you right now, I'm not going to use them. But um, when the linear actuator is at its mechanical limits, uh, the code um, allows a magnet to turn the motor off so it can't either spin off the um, the all thread or ball screw, whatever I want to use. And um, this one would be so that it doesn't, um, or this one so it doesn't hit the base where the motor is, and this one so it doesn't fly off the end where the uh, the end of the actuator is. Um, I have the code set up, and um, I've just been out here kind of trying to refine it, um, make the sensors work really well. You can see from the shadow that the um, below the sensors right here that um, they're pretty much perpendicular to the sun and the motor is not spinning. So if I move it slightly to the left, you can hear it kick on. I have a three second delay for when it is perpendicular to the sun. I'm going to make that more like 15 minutes so the thing only kicks on you know, when the sun's moved a bit so it can recorrect itself. Um, but it doesn't matter what happens in those uh, three seconds or 15 minutes that it stalls. When it's perpendicular to the sun, it just uh, stays there. So you'll see I'm going to turn it up into the sun, and it stops. I turn it out of the sun the other way. The motor spins the other direction, so the actuator will bring it back, and it'll stop. Tilts it away. Stop. Thing works really good, dude. Um, basically, what I ended up doing is I have the sensor set up so that um, you get the difference between the two values. And um, the difference is defined by uh, sensor 1 minus sensor 2. So if sensor 1 is positive and this one's negative, then you get a positive uh, difference. If uh, sensor 2 is more, is a higher value than sensor 1, um, you'll get a negative value for the difference. And depending on if your um, the difference is negative or positive, determines if it's going to correct. So this would be a, um, a negative difference, so it knows to turn this way. Um, then when you go this way, sensor 1 is uh, has more sunlight, so the difference between the two, sensor 1 minus sensor 2, is positive, so it knows to correct it this way. And uh, that's it. Um, when the difference is um, greater than negative 1 and less than 1, then it sits still. So pretty much that is almost, you know, absolutely perpendicular into the sun. Anything beyond those limits, below um, less than negative 2 or greater than 2, um, will turn the uh, actuator the correct direction to bring it back into the sun. And I also have it set up so at night, um, when uh, the threshold of both of these drops below um, 80, which is like a nighttime um, uh, value that I get from uh, the sensors, whenever they're below 80, it goes into night mode and it goes um, turns the motor on to actuate the whole thing back this way to the east. And um, when it gets all the way to the bottom, the Hall effect sensor will turn it off. And then uh, when the um, when my value for the sensors uh, both go, or when one of them goes above 80, 81, then it means it's daytime, it goes into day mode, and um, it uh, starts tracking the sun. So this is pretty much it, dude. I just need to go home and wire it up, and everything will be peachy and sweet. So I just kind of wanted to show you what I've been up to and how it's coming along. So you can see all my wires, got lots of stuff going on. Got two little one amp relays that are controlling the uh, power to the motor, and I have a separate power supply. So the controller 
and the relays um, are powered separately and so this motor is uh, electrically isolated from the controller that's controlling it so pretty sweet dude um, I will uh, show you more when I have more when I get back to Portland and hook it up